Diabetic retinopathy is the most common microvascular complication of diabetes. This method can help answer key questions on the pathophysiology of the end-stage disease, proliferative diabetic retinopathy. This technique allows the deconstruction of the native three-dimensional tissue landscape and the investigation of tissue pathophysiology in live patient material with direct clinical relevance. Refer to the text protocol for details on the surgery and the instrumentation utilized in the dissection. To begin, place fibrovascular tissue that has been excised from human subjects undergoing transconjunctival microincision vitreoretinal surgery in a cell culture dish containing sterile PBS. Using an upright dissection stereo microscope, cut the fibrovascular tissue into approximately one square millimeter pieces. Submerge the tissue in PBS and hold the tissue in place with microdissection tweezers. Make clear cuts in the tissue with a sterile scalpel, taking care to avoid tearing the fibrovascular tissue. Place each individual piece of tissue into a well of a 12-well cell culture plate containing one milliliter of sterile PBS. First, prepare 25 microliter aliquots of fibrinogen solution at room temperature. Place one piece of fibrovascular tissue at the center of a well of a 24-well plate and remove any excess PBS. Next, add 25 microliters of TA solution to one of the prepared fibrovascular